Saturday, 9th May 2015, the Trinidad and Tobago Creative Industries Company Limited, Creative TT, with its agency, Fashion TT, hosted Mode TT, a fashion export showcase of local designers to determine their potential for the French Caribbean outermost regions. The fashion industry has long been one of the government's targeted markets to help propel economic diversification within the country and move away from the reliance on the traditional oil and gas sector. Corporate Couture, Lisa C. Tai, Millhouse Company Limited, Design Lab, Adrian Foster, Blossom Accessories Loft, Linda Osborne, Amen Print House, Ben Caribe, CLD, Lush Kingdom, Unamic Designs, Ecliff Eli, Heather Jones Designs International, and Redfire Innovations. Also in attendance with the Chairman of Fashion TT, Jason Lindsay, Acting CEO of Export TT, Dwight Brown, CEO of Creative TT, Rhea Karim, and Senator the Honorable Vasan Barra, Minister of Trade, Industry, Investment and Communications, and Minister in the Ministry of Finance and the Economy, all of whom spoke of the exciting economic possibilities arising from the French Caribbean. I have the pleasure this afternoon of welcoming you, welcoming all of you to what for us, us at Fashion TT is our first major endeavor towards generating some momentum with the stakeholders in the industry, the new designers towards reaching and accessing export markets. For us, this is an exciting initiative that we partnered with Export TT on. They, just to give you a little background, they last year, I believe it was, did um, an immersion in the French Caribbean in a few areas. And you know, they, they sort of got the data from that and got the feedback to see what was relevant and where we might be able to go back in and generate some, some real export potential. They came to us uh, towards the end of last year and said, you know, there really is potential for the Caribbean aesthetic, the fashion designers locally, to be able to do business in that market. Um, they've seen it with their initial engagement and they wanted to partner um, towards going back to a more deeper and, and you know, longer, more designers in, a, in, a, in another initiative there. So we partnered with them on it. And this, what, what you're witnessing today is not just a fashion showcase, but it really is part of an, an initiative that we're partnering with a few stakeholders on towards starting with the designers and their creativity and ended at generating true export um, potential in the region. Export TT Limited is a national trade promotion organization with the mandate of creating internationally competitive firms in the non-energy, manufacturing and services sectors to grow and diversify the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. In fulfillment of this mandate, in November 2014, Export TT, with the support of the Caribbean Development Bank's CAT Fund, conducted a trade mission to the French Caribbean outermost territories, namely Martinique, Guadeloupe, and French Guiana. That mission was very successful, comprising 131 meetings, 85 leads, and with projected orders of US $1.7 million. I recall that two fashion designers were part of that delegation. They were well received by French Caribbean buyers with orders exceeding US $51,000. This immediate success has brought attention to Trinidad and Tobago's fashion industry. The attention presented new opportunities for designers. And to assist designers capitalize on this success, Export TT, in collaboration with Creative TT, has created a fashion lookbook platform for increased fashion exports to the French Caribbean. Trinidad and Tobago's wealth, as we all know, has traditionally been based on our oil and gas endowments, which places us in a strong economic position at times, yet renders us vulnerable to the effects of fluctuations in global prices. While much of the conversation continues to focus on the energy sector, I would like to propose that our most valuable resource as a nation is in the creative genius of our people. Our rich cosmopolitan history, influenced by the oldest civilizations on the planet, evolving over time into a unique organism which sees all of our people participating in the cultures and practices of others, 
forms a fertile and nurturing ground for creative expression. As is the case in most creative industries, ours has grown organically over the years, thriving on the initiative, toil and talent of the pioneers in music, film and fashion. Many of our citizens have made names for themselves globally over the years without much strategic or deliberate focus on the part of the state. It is therefore most timely and most welcome that the government, in recognition of the massive and most importantly, inexhaustible potential of the creative sector, has identified it as one of critical importance in its diversification strategy. Delivering the feature address of the day was Senator the Honorable Vasan Bara who highlighted the absolute importance of Creative TT in helping propel economic diversification for the country. Fashion is, uh, is something that is very subjective and, and also it's something that's very unique. Unique to uh, a country like Trinidad and Tobago because it's the one thing that is the culmination of our culture, our ethnicity, our religion, who we are as a people and where we've come from. It's one of the few things actually that's born out of creativity that it's very difficult to copy across the world. Fashion, film and music in Trinidad and Tobago is indigenous and unique to us as a people. And it's the one thing that is not easily replicable. And so therefore it's the one thing that we have a unique advantage in presenting ourselves to the rest of the world in. And so therefore in an effort to steer the economy away from oil and gas, as we've been talking about for the last 50 odd years, and it always becomes very relevant, uh, particularly in times like these, where the price of uh, energy as, uh, as a commodity has dropped on world markets. It's always relevant that we renew our approach to looking at areas where we can be competitive in them. And certainly, the government of Trinidad and Tobago has identified the creative TT sector, uh, which includes film, fashion, and music, as being uh, the, one of the areas that uh, we wish uh, to put a significant amount of emphasis behind. Um, in addition to identification of the sectors uh, for growth, is creating an, able, an enabling environment to allow business to be done, to make it easier to do business. Because at the end of the day, whether you're a fashion designer or whether you are a manufacturer of any, of any product in Trinidad, what you want to be able to do is get on with the business of making what you do best. That's all you need. You need a clear pathway to be able to do that. And the government has been working very aggressively to ensure that we create something called ease of doing business to allow you to do business. The World Bank ranked Trinidad and Tobago among the top 10 reformers earlier this year. And with initiatives such as Creative TTs and Fashion TTs, Mold TT Fashion Export Showcase helping to create an enabling environment for new innovators within the industry, there is little doubt that Trinidad and Tobago's economy will continue to grow with the guidance of the MTIIC.